welcome back to my channel so as you can tell today we are doing my full face one brand on ColourPop I have been waiting to do this video for so long and with the new pretty fresh collection that came out I now have enough products to complete a full face so if you're interested in seeing my full face one brand on ColourPop then just keep on watching I did just want to firstly address in the beginning of this video that I do not have a bronzer from ColourPop because I haven't liked their powders in the past very much and when I ordered everything for this the new coconuts collection with the bronzers hadn't launched yet so I don't have a bronzer and I don't have mascara or lashes I did order lashes but they broke we will get to that sorry my tongue is um orange because I have been sick and I was drinking a orange Gatorade so that's why my tongue is orange my base face products are all going to be the new pretty fresh collection so this is the pretty fresh hyaluronic tinted primer or not tinted hyaluronic acid primer i don't know why i said tinted it is it does have an orange tint but it goes away when you blend it out i'd never tried one of their primers because previously they only had that mattifying silicone one and then i never tried their stick foundation and i never tried their no filter foundation is it called the no filter i think it is the no filter and then I did try the no filter concealer and I got rid of it. Mine was too light for me, but it was also just too dry for my skin. And it just creased really, really badly on me. I know some people love that concealer and some people hate it. It's very controversial. Like I know Raw Beauty Christie generally likes the same products as me and she loves that concealer and I hate it. So... I don't know, but the new Pretty Fresh line seems to be very up my alley. So I love that primer. Definitely recommend the primer. So now I'm going to go in with the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I like to shake it up and then pump it directly on my finger and put it on my face like that. I'm not absolutely crazy about this formula. I have other tinted products that I would reach for over this just because they supply me a little more coverage than this does like the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue is one that I would reach for over this probably especially just because it matches me better. This is how my skin looks with that very very low coverage so now I'm going to go in with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and mine is in Fair 20N. Glad I went with this shade. Their shade range is really great, but sometimes for fair people, I find it hard to figure out my undertone and really how light the range works, but I'm really glad that I went with this. I've only had this now for a week and a half, I think. I got it right when it launched, and I really do like it so far. It just takes me a while to get used to a concealer, and and like how it blends with different product and stuff but it is really great coverage I'm just gonna apply it like pretty much everywhere and blend that in with my tinted moisturizer just because I want more coverage for this look and then I thought I had a face powder but I remembered that I actually threw away in a declutter my ColourPop face powder. It was just in packaging like this, which is why I thought that's what this was, but this is actually a blush. It was just like their single powder formula and I found it very dry and chalky. Yeah, I thought I had a powder because I saw that sitting there and I put it in my bin, but then I just looked at it and realized that it says that it is a blush. And then I remembered that I threw away my ColourPop powder just because I didn't like it. So to set my face, all of the concealer, I always set my face pretty much always in some areas um, but I typically like to do an all over set even though I have dry skin I just find it very nice and smoothing and finishing and then it's easier to blend powders and stuff so to keep it affordable I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth for normal to dry skin and this is in 120 Classic Ivory I've been using this a lot lately and I really do like it and I like to press that in gives me a tiny bit more coverage and then as I said just helps everything looks smooth 
cohesive and then it helps with blending other powders. And now that my face is all set in with powder, I'm going to keep it affordable again and quickly go in and bronze the NYX Matte Bronzer and this is in light. And now that we are all nice and bronzed, I'm going to go in with highlight. The ColourPop Super Shock highlights are some of my absolute favorite highlighters, definitely like top drugstore ones. I previously had another shade and I completely used it to death and decluttered it or just emptied it. Now I just have two shades. I have On the Cusp, which is from the Kathleen Lights Zodiac collection. It's a little bit dark for me, so I use that one more as a base. And then I also have the ever so classic Flexitarian. This highlight is very, very popular in the makeup world and for good reason. It is really, really good. And I'm just going to avoid the nose area for this darker one. So I'm starting with On the Cusp and I'm just going to put that on my cheekbones. And you can tell how like natural that highlight looks it just looks so pretty and the texture of these are gorgeous i like the super shock highlights better than the blushes i've had a blush before and i felt like it dried out really quickly could have just been a one circumstance thing that's just my general experience with them now i'm going to go in with flexitarian i don't know how you can tell but i do have a pretty significant dent in this it's like my go-to drugstore highlight i would say and because this formula is like a creamy bouncy formula it looks very natural as i said and then you can also use it like on your fingers and apply it that way and because it has more of like a natural skin look i can go a little extra with it so that is the highlight i'll go back and top that later once i'm like done the rest of the face now it is time for blush which is one of my absolute favorite parts of makeup to apply i have the pressed powder face blush in noodle i believe it is like a blue toned bright pink i love wearing these blushes these kinds of colors these like blue tone cool toned pinks are my absolute favorite with like fair skin like barbie pink looks very very good and flattering it's also my favorite like power color to wear on my lips like a bright blue tone pink and i like to use blush to kind of melt my bronzer and highlight together so i'm not very like targeted on my cheekbones with it i kind of just blend it in to everything now because i feel like i look crazy without my brows done i'm going to do brows this is something that i'm super super excited to be trying this is the precision brow pencil specifically in dope taupe kathleen lights talks about this all the time and i've just heard good things in general about their brow pencils typically i'm a pomade girl but lately i've been into pencils for doing this like inner portion flick of my brows but we are going to try doing just pencil today and see how it goes if I don't like it I might cheat and go into a little bit of pomade but essentially you get a spoolie and then you get a creamy pencil so I can't speak to this product a ton because as I said I just ordered it a couple weeks ago with my pretty fresh stuff it seems really creamy and like definitely pigmented I think it's a good tone for me yeah, this is very creamy and pigmented. That's what I like in a brow pencil. I do like how they turned out. I love the color. I love that they're like an ashy, darker color. I'm really into it. So now it's time to go into eyeshadow. I have some other ColourPop singles and mini palettes, but my two favorites are the Kathleen Lights collaborations. So I have the Dream Street palette and the Zodiac palette. This is the Zodiac palette. Super gorgeous, fun shades in there. And then the Dream Street palette is a little bit more neutral I would say so I'm going to start off the look by going into this really really warm tone terracotta brown and this is called water bearer and I'm just going in with that shade packing it into the outer portion of my crease and then slowly working it in to diffuse that color all the way into the crease ColourPop shadows really are just so amazing. I don't know any shadows that perform like this that I'm able to find at the true drugstore walking into Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. I can't think of any brand that would have shadows like this for this price. Now I kind of am feeling like I want to do a bit of a cut 
crease. I wasn't planning on doing this, but we may as well try it because I don't feel like doing a matte, like smoked out look. So I'm taking the Pretty Fresh concealer and I'm going to attempt a cut crease. I'm not super talented at these or experienced, but I think for this look, it would be pretty just to do like two different shimmer tones, cut crease on the lid. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. I like to do my cut creases the way I feel like most people I see do them. I like to put a little bit on my lid and then look up and cut from where that line is. So now with that fluffy brush that we used in the beginning to blend out the crease, I'm just going to go and smooth the edges of my cut crease a little bit. Now I'm going to go into this shade here called Magical and put that on the outer half of my lid. This shimmer shade is packing on so, so nicely. I didn't even spray my brush with setting spray and I'm not getting any fallout with this. It is just gliding on beautifully, so smooth, pigmented, like everything I would want in this kind of shadow shade. And now on the inner remaining portion of my lid, I'm going to go in with this lighter champagne shimmer called Spark. And then with my shader brush, I'm just going to blend those two shades together to make it more of a soft gradient. Now I'm going to go in and do a nice kitten wing with the ColourPop liquid liner and this is in the shade numero uno. This is one of the blackest, most intense, sharp eyeliners, liquid liners I've ever used. It is a brush like felt tip. It is super, super black, super easy to use. And so far the pigment is great. So I just popped off camera while I did my mascara and lashes. I did purchase a pair of lashes from ColourPop. I didn't purchase a mascara because I feel like mascara doesn't matter so much when you're wearing lashes anyway, but I wanted to try out their new false lashes. So I ordered the style Queenie. So I wore these to work one day because I needed a pair of lashes. And when I was taking them off, they broke. I've never had that happen with lashes before. Bends in like sections and they seem super flimsy and like they're just gonna break. So I was kind of not surprised looking at these that they did break. So these are the broken lashes. You can see how thin that band is and the seam just split apart and broke right in half. I really don't like a thin band so that is the story of the lashes I tried to order and like incorporate lashes in this video but they broke so that is why I went off camera and did mascara and lashes. Now we are ready to go into lips. It is no surprise to you guys if you watch my channel that I love the ColourPop Luxe lipstick formula. I have almost 12 now. They are like my absolute favorite drugstore lip formula hands down. So with this look, I kind of wanted a more nude-ish shade. So I grabbed Spring Roll, which was in the um, spring collection. And I think I'll do this as the base. And then I grabbed What's Your Sign from the um, Horoscope Zodiac collection. I'm gonna do Spring Roll as the base and then What's Your Sign like in the middle. And then I also have a gloss from, I wanna say it was a collaboration with Shayla. And this is in Neat. So as I said, first going in with Spring Roll. And this one is a cream formula. Yeah, this is too like peachy pink for what I wanted. So now I'm pretty much just gonna cover that with What's Your Sign, because this is not the lip that I want. And this is a cream formula as well. These lipsticks are really like the creamiest things I've ever used. And now on top of that lipstick combo, I'm gonna go in with Neat Freak, which is like a pretty nude pinky gloss. Just to finish this off, I feel like it's a little bare on the under eyes, so I'm just going to smoke out a little bit of like different browns on the lower lash line. And then in the inner corner, I just popped some of the Aries, which is like a golden bright orangey shade, and I'm topping everything off with Flexitarian. This is the final full face ColourPop look. I think it turned out super, super pretty. 
I was definitely playing off some of my nail inspo. We did like orangey goldens and then a nude glossy lip. Before I leave, I just wanted to quickly give a roundup of the products that I think ColourPop does best and the ColourPop products that aren't so great. So my top three recommendations from ColourPop are the Super Shock Highlight Formula, the Luxe Lipstick Formula, all shades and then the eyeshadows. I think the eyeshadow palettes in particular are amazing. I love, love, love the two palettes from Kathleen Lights, and those are the ones that I use today. So those are my three top recommendations for ColourPop. There are other products like the liner that I really like, but those are my top three if I had to pick. And then my bottom two would be the lashes for sure. I think they need to work on the band is just not it, and I just expected more from them so I think they need to work on lashes and pressed powders the blushes are a little powdery and then the pressed powder in my opinion in the past has been very powdery and I didn't buy the bronzers because of that and with that that is everything that I have for you guys today I hope that you enjoyed this video I had a really fun time filming it and creating a full face of makeup with ColourPop I thought it was really really fun and I love the finished look please like this if you liked the video obviously it really helps me out and please also do subscribe if you weren't already. That does help me out as well. And let me know what other video you'd like to see me do full face. I have an updated pixie one coming soon. I have some requests to do that. But beyond that, what other brands do you want to see? I've done Maybelline. I've done L'Oreal. Bare Minerals. I've done NYX. And I think that's it. And now ColourPop and Pixie. So let me know down below what brand you want to see me do a full face one brand of next. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope that you had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.